We used to have competitors from all over, travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Mevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other, just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Well, here it is, the competitor village, sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. Wait, are all of these people competitors? Yep, at least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. They're just stuck here, unable to leave. Wow, that's just horrible. I know. They didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And what if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games, but it might take a while. I'm gonna go confer with Otto. We go way back and well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Wait, we still haven't found Lucas or Ivor. <sighs> I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Well then, we're just gonna have to get them out. See what you can do here. I'm gonna try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. We gotta get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll go ask some of the other competitors. Hmm, some sort of practice space. Looks like everyone's working hard. Phew, smells like it too. Whoa, it's you from Spleef. You were, like, amazing. I am now, and I am so super sorry about your friend. I get your probs upset, especially since you had no idea what was going on. <laughs> it, um, well, it wasn't very chill. I understand now. These games are nuts. Man, I am so glad to hear that. I do not want to be on your bad side. I gotta say, you keep playing like that, and you'll be like, Tim status. Tim who? Tim, like the legend of Tim Tim on the signs. Like one, okay? Like you could, people could like already be talking. They're gonna like say stuff, compare you to Tim. It might be a little uncomfortable or not. It's cool. I'm not here to be a Tim. I just want to get home. But that's like exactly what makes you Tim status. Tim didn't want to be Tim either. He got his whole team home. Listen, I still feel super bad about taking out your friend. I owe you. So if you ever need anything, you just come and ask, shall? <laughs> Yo, Jesse, what can I help you with? Oh, hey, know where the nether portal is? Yeah, it's right over that way. Um, hey? You're the one that eliminated the one decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. I mean, I know I'm good at this, but I'm not that good. Hey, no hard feelings. I didn't know what I had gotten into. Let's just move past this. No. I will eliminate you next round and make you suffer. It'll be fun for me. Next round. If I don't get you, 
One of the gladiators will. <sighs> you haven't been here long? So you wouldn't know. But the gladiators are trained for everything. And they are completely under Hadrian's control. Unless I win. Which I will. You've got guts. I respect that. Just can't wait to see those guts on the arena floor. I feel kind of bad for you. Most of us got snatched against our wills, but you got tricked into coming willingly. That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. No, you don't understand. I have to win. Winning is the only way my friends and I can go home. <gasps> is that how it works? That's what we're all trying to do. Yeah, well, good luck with getting home. Impressive. Wow, hey, you are that crazy person in Extreme's Belief. Decent. Not as good as Tim, but decent. That's more than I can say for most. But not even a third of what Tim was. So, you ever meet Tim? Me? Meet Tim? Oh, I wish. Here's the secret. We're all just trying to be like Tim. He's perfect. Okay. I'll leave you to it then. That armor is pretty sweet. Not as sweet as mine, of course. Mm. Hey, that's Lucas's journal. You say something, Tiny? Because I'm trying to read here. So if you don't mind... Hey, where'd you get that book you're reading? Oh, this? Fish it out some respawns inventory after he... It's got some tales of adventure, feelings, and other dumb stuff. Hey, wait a minute! You're the pipsqueak that knocked me out of my tower. Yeah, and this belonged to that little blonde buddy of yours. Let me guess, you want this back? Because I'm actually enjoying myself. There are some fascinating and thrilling tales in here, and I like to read slow to absorb it better. So, I'm gonna be a while. Hey, don't get too steamed. Maybe we can make a deal. And slam the immovable! Oh, we can make a deal. If you do everything I say, when I say it, and don't make me mad again, maybe I'll consider giving you this stupid book back. <laughs> Can't you see I'm trying to read? Jeez. Hmm. Sorry. Hmm. Excuse me. Psh. Wow, rude. Hey, get out of here before I see if I can attach this sign to your head. <sighs> it's so nice when new contestants are in the village. It's lovely having fresh meat for us gladiators to destroy. What exactly do you do here? Well, when I'm not in the arena, being a great gladiator, I hand out the daily food rations and guard the food, so no one tries to sneak any. Have you happened to see my friends? You know, the ones that got eliminated in Spleef? No, but if I do, I will make them wish for elimination again. Yeesh. Why is everyone so cranky around here? Could be that we're forced into an endless cycle of destruction. Just a guess, though. Fine. I'm out of here. Bye-bye! Can't wait to kill you again! Oh, 
Oh, it's you again! The one I wanted to make suffer! Hey, leave before I ruin you. Fine. I'm out of here. Uh-huh. Shovel planet. Nice. Wow, they look focused. They must really want to win this thing. Here lies the platform on which Tim stood to win these great games. Hope I'll be standing there soon. Wow, everyone seems to love this Tim guy. You a big fan of Tim? <laughs> Forget I asked. Hey, Jesse. Finding your way around all right? Yeah, starting to. Nice. You know, this place would actually be a blast if it weren't for the whole against their will thing. I mean, Spleef was awesome, but a little bit of the fun gets taken away when you're forced to do something. Totally agree. The actual game was fun. It just stinks that all of this has to be a part of it. I just hope we can get home soon. I'm a little creeped out by the people that run this place. Let's keep trying to find Ivor and Lucas. Agreed. Let's talk more after we find Lucas and Ivor. Sounds good. Aha! There's our nether portal. Um, hello. Don't you hello, face meat! Wait a minute. You're the cheater that blew up my friend, Slab! And face meat doesn't. Look, cheaters, don't stand around breathing up all of face meat air. Face meat prefers dweeb free air. What do you know about the old builders who run this place? Well, one, they hate being called old builders. Two, they're face meat's bosses. Three, they're not big on hugs. Hey, what do you even do around here? Face meat cracks skulls and thinks about cracking more skulls. When face meat has time, that is. Do you know where my friends are? In the mines. Duh. And they're not going anywhere. Not on face meat's watch. That doesn't mean just stand there. Staring at face meat. With your face. Please, what can I do to get them out? Well, now that you mention it. Facemeat was busy slamming mad raps at the gym and missed lunchtime, you see? So Facemeat's hungry. Do something about that, and Facemeat'll think about getting your friends out. Unless you got food, I don't want to talk to you. Yo, Jesse, what can I help you with? No, I mean, seriously, I mean anything at all. Like, I want to help out people. Like, be a good person, you know? Well, actually, I am trying to bribe that guard, Face Meat, and he's hungry. Well, um, if I had some wheat, I would totally give you some. Sadly, I don't have a secret stash. And if you didn't ask, I wouldn't loan you some. Wink. Come on, uh, quick before anybody sees us. Go ahead. That should be enough for your bread. All of it? Of course, brah. It'll grow back. Just, uh, leave the seeds, yeah? Mm. 
one. Planting as I go. And that's another. <laughs> Sweet! And that should all go back soon. Nice! Looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. Yeah, that means bread. Hopefully bread will be enough to get that face meat guy to help me. Righteous. They don't let us use crafting tables, though. <laughs> then I guess I'll just have to make my own. Where can I get some wood planks? Hey, I remember a bunch of, like, wood planks by the dojo. I think they train by, like, punching them or whatever, you know? Thank you, Nell. Hey, no problem. Happy to help. Catch you later, yeah? Wooden planks. Solid. There. That should be enough for a table. Aha! Uh -huh. That's some fine crafting. Let's make some food. Boom! Bread. I should be able to get my friends back. Oh, it's you again! The one I wanted to make suffer! Hey, leave before I ruin you. Would it be possible for me to, uh, have some of that bread? It's for that guy over there. Seriously? I'm not falling for that. No bread until lunchtime. Get out of here before I make you into a meal. Does anyone have any food I can borrow? Or, well, have? Guess I should ask around. I'll just... I'm gonna go now. Um, hello. Hey, face meat! Got some bread for ya. Bread, huh? Hm. It's not cake, but face meat is starving. Mmm, it's so warm. Oh, and full of carbs. Mmm, fresh bread. Please, get my friends. <laughs> Face Meat appreciates the politeness. Hang on. Hey, Petra. Hey, glad to see you already figured out the whole nether portal thing. Lucas and Ivor should be right out. One of those huge guys is getting them for me. Nice, nice. It seems like we keep ending up in situations. First with Palma, now with that stupid sploof game. Well, what I'm trying to say is, thanks. You know, don't make this awkward. It was just on my mind, and I thought I should say something. Hey, of course I saved you, okay? You're one of my best friends. Well, I just hope Ivor isn't too jealous. I'm glad you're with me on this, Petra. Me too. Here! Oh! Oh, response! Jesse, man, is it good to see you? You too, Lucas. And Ivor. Uh, what are you wearing? Right. Shut up. My outfit breathes wonderfully. Anyway, how's it been going out here? You, uh, 
You don't have our stuff by any chance, do you? He's worried about his diary. I'm working on that. It's tricky, though. Well, don't beat around the bush. What has Harper gotten us wrapped up in? Yeah, Harper is a tricky one. Jesse? As long as we stick together, it's gonna be fine. We'll either get the Atlas and go home, or we'll be stuck in the nether together. Forever. That is not reassuring, Jesse. Hey! Jesse, I need to talk! <laughs> yeah. It's pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just... <sighs> stare at you while you mine. It's been terrible! And we weren't in there that long. Lucas, we need the Atlas to get home. <sighs> I know. Apparently this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. Yeah, it's super fishy. Well, you're out of those mines now. According to Harper, until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Jesse, this is Otto, my old friend. Like I said, he may be able to help. So you're the one who's supposed to help us? Well, I'll enforce the rules at any rate. If that helps you, then uh, can't be games without rules. <laughs> Harper's been filling me in about you. From the story she's told, I'm impressed. You might actually make it to the top. In fact, you're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. Yeah, I think you might be a real Tim in the making. Yep, a real Tim. Really interesting, you being here. I can feel change in the air. Great. As long as I get to go home. That is the point. But you have to win first. And my job is to make sure everybody, even Hadrian, plays by the rules. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't disappoint me. Can we trust him, Harper? Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway, dorms are over there. You got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Oh, that sounds awesome. Can't wait to just sit for a little while. And in the morning, I'm winning and getting us all out of here. I wonder what the next event will be. Hopefully nothing too deadly. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't take you seriously looking like that. It breathes. Wonderfully!